Have you noticed when using generative fill in Photoshop that sometimes when you zoom in and you look really closely, actually the bit that Photoshop has added really isn't that good resolution. You can see it here in this image. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to explain why that happens and how you can avoid it when using generative fill. So like I just mentioned, if you do do some sort of generative fill where you expand the canvas, if we zoom in and look closely, you will see that there is a big difference here in the quality. Okay, so that's something you just want to be aware of. Uh, what is actually happening here, I'll explain it to you, is Photoshop is looking at the longest side and it's generating an image, low resolution of 1024 pixels and then stretching it across the entire image. So it's not giving loads of um, pixels to it. And it's doing that because it's in the early days and it, it's just trying to figure out um, all the bugs. So it's not actually a bug, it, it's just the way it's programmed to work. So what we can do is we can do something about that. So we'll just kind of delete this and actually just close this image down and I'm gonna reload the image back in. Um, and it does take a little bit longer this way, but it will be much better, especially if you want to print. So what you can do is you can go ahead and you can just start kind of dragging this out to, to how far you want to expand it. Just make sure that you change this to um, background default and there you go, you've, you've expanded it. That's probably not the way I would do it um, because then we've just got to do it bit by bit. So the other way we can do it is if we go up to image and then canvas size, if we drag this across, you can see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put plus 1000 pixels and I'm just going to say right click here so it'll expand it that way and I'm going to click OK and then we've got this. So I've gone with 1000 rather than 1024 because when I draw the box I want it to overlap by 24 pixels just so it'll blend better. So what I can do now is I can click this um, marquee tool, I'm going to come up to the style and go to fixed size and I'm going to put 1024 by 1024, which is what I said earlier, that's the resolution that it's actually working at. So what I can do now is click and I'll just, I, all I did then was just click, I didn't even click and drag. And now I can do this generative fill and it'll do it at the, just click generate and it'll do it at the full resolution. Okay, so you can see we've got a few ones by here. We've actually got um, one or two where it's kind of not looking at the whole image, but this one is actually working. So you can just click generate again, or you can give it a bit of a prompt, a typed prompt if you wanted to. But even though this will take a little bit longer, it is the better way to do it for the most resolution. So I'm just going to click down here again, and I'm going to click Generative Fill. Okay, so this is what I've got. Um, I'm just going to click through, and I think this one's probably going to be my preferred one. So I'm just going to click again here, and now go third time, Generative Fill and Generate. Cool, and click through, pick my favorite one, and yeah, happy with this one. So what I can do now is I've got these three by here. Um, I can do the same on the other side. So if I just rinse those, rinse and repeat those processes, those steps, if I go to image, canvas size, I'm gonna go this way this time, and then width, I'm gonna go plus 1000. So we'll go for a bit of a panoramic shot. Or I may go 800, um, just to give it a, no, 900, just to give it a bit more of an overlap. So click okay. And then I've got my marquee tool set up from last time. So let's just start down the bottom. So we've got a bit more of an overlap now, so it should help a little bit more. Generative fill, and if you wanted to type in a prompt, you can, but I'm just going to click generate. Okay, and I think that, that that's one that I like, so I'm going to go with that. I'm just going to keep repeating these steps now until I get something like a finished product. Okay, and here is my finished panorama. You can see we've got lots of things making this up, but it is certainly more higher res than our previous version. So if I just zoom into these sort of blue and yellow houses by here, you can see the before and after. So you've got some decent res stuff in here, whereas if we compare it to this, the before and after, the same colored houses there, you can see this is a lot more blurry. So this is a bit of a fix on getting some higher res stuff in there. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Any questions, let me know. And if you want me to cover something else in the future, leave a comment to let me know. And I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Cheers.